so hello guys welcome back to our project library management system so in the previous video uh, we created the uh, we worked on this uh, add books button okay as you can see over here uh, see we did the code for the designing uh, for add books and uh, code for it as well okay and uh, today in this video we are going to uh, do this uh, let me show you. Yeah, this uh, staff details button. Okay, we will be working on this staff details uh, button. So let's start it. Okay. So again, you'll have to like create this GI form, GI frame. Uh, click next and give the name as you know staff details or whatever you feel like, and click on finish. So I've already done it. So I'll just show you how it will be done. Okay. So yeah. Uh, this is the design. This is the J table that I have taken. See, this is the table. I, I showed this in our uh, books available video as well. Okay. Uh, we, we will be doing the same thing in the just only the change is that instead of calling the, you know, the uh, books table from the database, here we will be calling the staff table. Okay. And nothing is different uh, apart from that. Okay. So uh, everything is similar. So uh, if uh, I'll keep it short, okay. And if you have any problem, you can go back to that video and you can watch it, and it will be clear, okay. So yeah. So the table you'll drag a table over here, okay. And uh, you see, I've already dragged one. So after this, uh, click uh, right click on this table and table go to table contents. Uh, columns uh, see over here in the staff table we had only uh, three columns okay three columns are there staff id name and contact so we do uh, we just want three uh, uh, you know uh, three columns over here so uh, you might be having uh, like four columns over here so you just decrease it you can increase it decrease it uh, as per your choice and uh, yeah in the title section you can rename it Okay, so I've given it staff ID, name, and contact as it is uh, in our database. And you can close it. Okay, uh, see, rows. Uh, one, do one thing over here that uh, in the rows, uh, you just decrease this count to zero. Okay, it might be uh, like four. Okay, uh, by default, it is four. And uh, we should not keep that. So, because it just uh, like places four empty rows over there. Okay. So we don't want that so keep this as zero and then close it okay this is the button you just have to drag it from here and uh, uh, just write the name over here like fetch as you shift as fetch you can like uh, write whatever you feel like and there's an exit button over here and so now start let's start our coding okay for this so for fetch button first of all you'll have to import these packages as you can see the sql package so uh, just java.sql.star and it will like import all the necessary uh, like classes of this package then one extra thing that we have to do is uh, java java.x.string.table.default table model for this like see we use this table j table okay we need to import those in this class okay this package we need to import this package and uh, then you can just give import java x or string dot start this will like uh, import all the necessary uh, you know classes and all so yeah and uh, this is uh, public in this public staff details uh, we are just you know uh, giving this function to like i explained this in the previous video as well that uh, if you like uh, close this window after opening staff details window, if you close that, okay, so the program must not terminate. Instead, it it must go back to the dashboard. So to do that, we are like doing this, okay. And uh, then this is the code for that uh, button, okay, fetch button. So see, first of all, we are creating an object model of the type default table model uh, this is required 
we use that table okay to insert values in that table so this is the you know syntax default table model uh, take any variable name i have kept as model and here in the bracket default table model and this is the name of the table you can change it see you can change it from here by changing variable name and you can change the name of the table but it, it does not require as we only have one table over here so there is no confusion and so i've just kept it the same j table one dot get model okay so and after this again we will create the connections uh, so the url is this again the account root and the password and the query is simple that uh, like we we, have, we want to like display all the details of the staff uh, table okay all the columns so just select star from staff within double quotes okay and don't forget all these things like to semicolon inside this uh, these are minute but uh, very important uh, you know things so i stored this query in this string uh, variable query and now in our tribe block we will be doing our main code so uh, here we are uh, like creating the connection so connection form is equal to driver manager dot get connection url user and password uh, again we will be creating a statement so statement stm is equal to con dot create statement uh, in this variable and this is mm, the same okay uh, this is an object we are creating an object and in that we will be using this method okay so yeah for that reason and then results and because we uh, in this we need result from the database okay we need something uh some output from the database which we need to like uh, display okay so we will be storing those results here in rs result set and stm dot execute query like we we need to execute the query over here so this method execute dot uh, execute query and in that uh, the parameter is the this query that we have taken okay so we are passing this query and uh, while rs dot next so i have already like explained this in the previous video as well in the books available and uh, i guess uh, in other like uh, other classes as well okay so uh, i'll just explain it once again so rs dot next checks uh, whether another row is present or not okay so till another row uh, another unvisited row is present it will keep on uh, continuing okay as uh, the number of rows gets like empty there's no any other like uh, row then it will come out of this loop okay so in this uh, we will be get uh, like we need to fetch the records from the database okay so we use this method as this is the rs okay so this rs has stored all the details okay so every time it uh, fetches one row okay and it uh, stores the uh, stores all the values of that row of that particular value uh, of that particular row in this rs okay and uh, so uh, we like fetch that values into our uh, variables so string staff id as you can see uh, we had three columns okay staff id name and contact so staff id and name is of the type var char so we will be uh, like uh, uh, fetching these values into string type in our uh, left beans over here okay and the last uh, contact is of integer type in database so we'll be using integer as well here okay yeah as well so string staff id is equals to rs dot get string and this is the name of the column that is uh, present in the uh, like uh, our database okay so from staff id we will be fetching the value and storing it to this staff id again name to this name and since contact is of integer type so rs dot get in and uh, the table name okay so now we have like fetched all the three details of a particular row and we have stored them into these three variables okay so now we have to add these to our uh, table to this table okay to this ta um, table one so for that we need to uh, use this method okay model that dot add arrow model is the like uh, 
object that we have created. So see, this is the model that we created. Okay, this is the object. So model dot add row, and in that add row new object, which is a like array kind of thing, and in that we are uh, like sending these values. Okay, these three values. So staff ID, name, and contact. So keep this in mind that you have to uh, send the data in the uh, particular order. Okay. The order in which we have this table, okay, uh, like staff ID is first, second is name, and contact is third. So we will have to keep that uh, pattern similar, okay. Staff ID, then name, and then contact. If you like uh, misplace them, then uh, it will not give the proper output, okay. So after doing this, uh, we'll close our uh, like uh, result set and statement. Okay, this is a good practice. This is not necessary, but it is a good practice to do this. Okay, to empty out our space, uh, and then the cache block is here. So in the cache block, we'll just show uh, like appropriate message to the user in case anything like any error occurs. Okay, so for that reason, we are using this uh, message. Okay, in the cache block, and uh, yeah, so you might have uh, got this. Uh, until the number, until like uh, uh, any row is undeleted, till then uh, it will keep on repeating itself, and hence all the like rows will be displayed in our table. Okay, and once that uh, row is empty, then we'll come out of this loop and the program will terminate. Okay, and uh, then this for code for this exit button, like this dot this code, just a simple line of code. Uh, okay. And one more thing that, uh, like, uh, from uh, we need to like switch from dashboard to the uh, staff details after clicking this uh, uh, button. Okay, staff details. So we will have to code for this as well. So for staff details, uh, uh, I don't know whether I like uh, uh, explain that in our ad books or not. But uh, for every button, we will have to uh, give this kind of like this code. To like switch from this window to the next window, so like we we'll go to the staff details, okay, and here see staff details. In this, we'll create an object of the staff detail. Staff details. Staff is the uh, variable name, okay. So we we'll go to new, new staff details, and we will uh, like staff dot set visible true. Like we will make it visible, okay. So. Uh, yeah, these two lines we have to write uh, write this two codes, two line of code uh, for every button over here. Like uh, for example, I'll show you for add books as well. We'll have to here yeah, you can see for add books also we'll have to write the add books is the like uh, the class name that we have created. Okay, and this is the variable uh, new uh, add books the class name and just add dot set visible true. Okay, so this was okay. And now let's see the demonstration part. So I'll just run it. And the username is Satish at the rate 123. And uh, the password is 12345. And I'll log in into it. Now the staff details button. I'll click on staff details. And here, click on fetch. And see, I have the all the details. And you can match it with this as well. See the the details are similar to what we have in a database. Okay, so yeah, and then I'll exit and see. Upon exiting, uh, we are coming back to the dashboard. Okay, so yeah, this was the code for the staff details. And now in the next video, we will be like uh, first of all, see, uh, we have done the code for login page. We have done for books available. Staff details is also completed and add books is also completed. So we are left with these four things. Okay, remove books, add staff, remove staff, and edit admin. So we will go to which one? Uh, let's take add staff and remove staff because it is similar to what we have done already. Okay, so we will take these two first. Uh, sorry, this one, remove staff. Uh, add stuff and then we will go for remove books and remove stuff. Okay, and at the end we will be doing edit admin. So yeah, thank you for now.
and we will meet now in the next video